thesmartlocal.com Is it very big? Whoa. Stop guys! Oh, oh, so good. Disclaimer, the following video contains graphic images of EOX. If you are currently eating, we highly recommend you to click away and come back later. Viewer's discretion is advised. Do you clean your ears? Every day. Yeah, same. After shower, must get the water out. I yeah. clean my ears when I feel like cleaning my ears. Wait, wait, by clean, it's just like, you just like wash. No. Only, right? Not what? dig, right? Dig, 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 dig. It's dig. It's like excavation. <laughs> just like dig. dig. I haven't digged my ears in like yes. at least 20 years. <laughs> oh, wait, what? The time Pachu Kang famously mentioned, who enjoys sex better? Girl oh. or guy? Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Excuse me, I can't. Wait, I need to say the point. Okay, hold on a finger. It's the hole. That's why you dig. Then you're like, uh. How do you usually clean your ears? I will, I will take the metal rod la, and then I will just like Scoop away then I knock on the table Eww! Yeah. Then I knock on the table So yours are no, flicks like See, Yeah mine are flicks <laughs> You know like bonito flicks then you will be dust right? Seasoning! Yeah, for me I will just like use like my facial foam Huh? Wait 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 <laughs> no no eh! So basically after like, I wash my face right Then soup it by extension like then like wash oh, your ears Oh wow la. That is high yeah. level But actually there's a technique to using the, the cotton buds It's not like you like that It's you like that right Then it's wet right So you like this like you tweeze it a bit. Um, you know the small little hairs that the, the buds have? Yeah. That will cling to the, the wax. Then it will I'll just pull it out. I think I do the, the no no way, which is just to go crazy yeah. and it's always like brown. <laughs> Nima is always brown. Like like the what other colours you want? <laughs> no, I see what I mean is some people it's so clean that they put in the cotton but then they come out, it's like as if nothing happened. You know like when you have that morbid curiosity, so if you see like a big piece of treasure, you'll be like it's like a health check, like, do yeah, I yeah. smell? Anything I scratch, I will smell. Anything you scratch, you smell. Yeah. He's talking about smell. Smell. It's a hygiene check. Yeah. Like, if yeah. you're smelly, you should shower. Some people, they don't even know they're smelly. Yeah, some people yeah. don't. Cheese all. Yeah. Some people what the some people hell? In this episode of Singaporeans Try, you're going to have your real wax professionally removed. Ooh. What if don't have? What if you're very clean, huh? Yes. Who has the most wax? Yes. Enough to create a uh, banana pizza. Yes. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, okay? Oh my god. Wait. Okay. One, two, three. So me. What's you like? No, 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 no. Yes, I want to be here. Got katsu, I'm not surprised also. Oh, Sekali, there's a whole civilization. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Rebecca Haywood. I specialize in otology, which is ear surgery, and cochlear implants. I have been working it as an ENT surgeon for 18 years now. So earwax is actually the way that the ear cleans dead skin out of the ear and protects the ear. And it will just actually work its own way out of the body. You really don't need to clean your ears. The ears can clean themselves. In some cases though, they just can't get the wax out of the ear. And in those cases, we may need to clean the ear in the ENT clinic, what we'll do is clean it under the microscope or with an endoscope. Doing this under direct vision, we can avoid causing any trauma to the eardrum or the ear canal. So I heard that there'll be four talents joining us today and I'm looking forward to meeting them. What I'm going to do today is have a look in your ear and then if I see any wax in there, I'm going to clean it out. I'm going to use this little suction. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I need you to do as well is to stay really still. Completely still. Completely still. And if you want me to stop, you just say stop or you put up your hand. I'll prepare my hands. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Oh, I can hear the suction. It's like a loud vacuum cleaner. Ah, I can hear it. I, ah, there's something coming out. This is so strange. It's like attaching a vacuum cleaner attachment to my ear right now. And it's cold. It's like a long cold prod going to my ear and sucking things out. I can look through to your brain with this actually. Are you, wait, wait, wait. Ah, somehow it feels clogged. Is there anything that's clogged? Uh, it's not clogged, no. It's just a little bit of earwax. And actually, it's good to have earwax because earwax has a protective function for our ears. There we go. That's your normal eardrum right. there. The problem with earwax is that they think they're cleaning their ears. They poke their ears with cotton buds right. and they actually push the wax into the ear. It's so interesting to be able to look inside though. Oh yeah, 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 get it out, yeah. I'm looking at it tear. 
What's the strangest things that you have seen in people's ears? An insect, like a little baby cockroach. Are you serious? It crawled into their ear no way. in the night. Then they tried to get it out, so it was stuck on their eardrum with its legs up in the air. Oh no! Dead. And what are these tiny films that are around? It's dead oh. skin. Thank you. Hi. There's a big boy there, and then there's a small boy here. We got a tough one. Can you not compare it to dessert? Will you eat your yolks for $5? You put out the $5 first. Wait, really? Is that your price? Yeah, you put out the $5 first. Don't be gross, y'all. For this amount, $5 can. Okay, we're bringing it back to the studio. Are you serious? You're bringing this back to the office? Yeah, you can keep it in your pocket. Okay, I'll keep it in my pocket. I think I haven't cleaned my ears in like 20 years. <laughs> That's good. I like patients like you because actually we are not supposed to clean our ears. I can see your eardrum and your eardrum is um, normal and you can see all the little blood vessels of the, the ear canal there as well. That's it, and really, there's there's nothing else to Ooh. nothing else to clean. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I thought really like there would be like a lot. Of Let's have a look at the other side. You can see there are these little hairs, and as we go in, there's very very little wax. This is normal, so I wouldn't even Ugh. bother to clean this usually. So you can see that there's this skin further in the ear which has no hairs on it, and the skin in the outer ear which has small hairs on it. And at the junction, that's where the wax is made. So if you haven't cleaned your ears for a long time, that's great. That means that the normal wax clearing mechanisms in the ear are working. Now the skin on the in the ear canal. It works a bit like a conveyor belt. It starts growing over here on the eardrum. It works its way out. By the time it gets to the ear canal, it sheds and it mixes with the secretions from those cells. And that's what makes wax. So wax is only made in the outer part of the ear canal. If you try to clean it, usually you will push it in. And if you really try to clean it, you'll push it right down to your eardrums. So people think that they should clean their ears, but actually we don't need to clean our ears. They're self-clearing. So when should you clean your ears? And you should never clean them. If people really need to do it because they have a lot of wax accumulation, get a professional to do it for them. Can I come to your clinic? Yes. <laughs> Hello. Okay, hi Renee. <laughs> hi. hi, welcome to the clinic. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I've been told that my ear holes are smaller than average. And have you had problems with wax build yes. up before? There was a period of time when I was younger, I had to go to the doctor because I couldn't even hear. Oh, because yeah. of wax? Yeah, and I couldn't like remove it just by digging it. Let's have a look. It's like a POV of a fly going in. There's a bit more wax further Ew. in here, which means you must have pushed it in by yourself oh, by trying to clean your ears. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. It's big and chunky. Oh, that's quite stuck against the wall. Whoa, that's so big! That's super big! Help you! So that little bit of wax is gone. Okay, that's the good ear, you think? <laughs> oh no, I don't get to see it. No. Ew! You guys are the first people I've met who want to souvenir. keep their ear wax as a souvenir. There we go. <laughs> wait, wait! <laughs> I don't even want to look! Ew! So this side has a bit more. Your ear canals are a little bit narrow, you're right. Yeah, I think you're the MVP. This is not what I want to be known for. <laughs> oh, you can hear it. Is it very big? Whoa. Stop, guys! Oh, I'm so scared! Is it a ball? Oh, I feel so like, wow, my hearing is so high, de high definition now. Stop it! <laughs> Do you dig with uh, cotton bud? Yeah. Sometimes with a metal metal scoop. Oh! Is it very no. bad? <laughs> All ENT surgeons would, would cringe if they heard oh you God. digging your ear with a metal scoop because you can scratch the skin. Yeah. Is it clean now? Okay, it's still. Oh. Wow. Stop! <laughs> Does my body just produce a lot of wax on its own? This is not that much. I see people with a lot more than this. It's fine, it's normal. You don't need to do anything about Yay. it. I'm not going to clean much more because it's good to have a little bit of wax in your ear. Oh! So, there we are. That's your ear canal now. Looks fine. 
Cool. When you uh, stick things in your ear to try and clean it out, right. not only can you push the wax in further, and it can then actually become completely pushed in next <gasps> to the eardrum and get impacted, and then that's when you can't hear because the sound waves can't travel through the ear canal anymore. If you get wax buildup, what you can do is put olive oil drops into your ears. You can put them in as often as you want. Right. You can't overdose on olive oil ear drop. And if you do that maybe once or twice a week at night to help it to soften and help it to come out of the ear <gasps> canal more easily. Easily. Does it matter if it's normal and extra virgin? No, it doesn't okay. matter. Just now there was like different colours and textures. So some is like caramelly, some is straight up black. Is there like a reason why people have different textures? It's just like people have different skin. Some people have dry skin, some people have oily skin. Okay, that's all for me. I hope Ryan has more than me so that I'm not the, the one with the most. <laughs> How much do you get? Uh, 90 marks. <laughs> If they were all horrified. I think both of you will have to uh, compete who has more wax because That's the other two are very clean. Fully clean and clean. <laughs> Dirty! <laughs> Hello Reina, how are you? I'm good. Maybe I just want to disclose that I always get like sinus infections, ear infections. So I'm not a stranger to the ENT Okay. Office. <laughs> so let's have a look in your ears. Ooh. Yep. And in here is a bit of wax that you have probably pushed, pushed inside it. with cleaning. Damn. Yeah. The important question is, is it more than Renee's? No, I don't think so. Oh, she's the one clear, you know? She's the one with the most. Oh, this is... Oh, oh wow, 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 wow. That feels so good. Oh my god. Wow, this is like the, the cleaning that I've been waiting for years. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, it looks okay. like a bug. See? Damn, and it's solidified. I did some research on like ear wax. The wet ones is the one with the BO. Someone else just asked me about this. Oh. So they say that uh, some people have no BO and then their wax is dry. That little bit that's just around the edge, I'm going to leave it there because it's, it's meant to be there. All right, yeah. second one. Really hardly any ear wax at all on this oh. side. Just an... Uh, <laughs> Wait. So the ear infections that you get, do you swim? I do swim a lot. So it could be due to swimming and also when you poke your ear with the metal digger yeah. or with the cotton bud, you actually scratch the skin of the ear canal. Then it makes it more likely to get an infection when you go swimming. So that's yeah, probably yeah. why you're getting that otitis externa infection. So if you get that, you need to get drops. So usually it will clear up with drops. In some people, there's so much debris in the ear canal yeah. that the drops can't get to the skin. In those people, the ear needs to be cleaned by a suction device like we just cleaned. If you like poke hard enough, can it reach your brain? Uh, well, if you've got a brain in there, it can. <laughs> <laughs> but what if it's like a really loud like Oh, a very loud you? noise, yeah. yes. Noise can cause perforation of the eardrum. It can also cause damage to the inner ear. The inner ear can um, completely lose its function actually from a very, very loud noise. Or in lesser degrees of noise, it can be damaged over a longer term. So people who listen to earphones, headphones, loud music, gaming, if the volume's too loud and they keep listening all the time, it can damage the inner wow. ear. Thank you, Dr. Rebecca. I can hear everything right now. <laughs> it's so clear, but I do want to clean a little bit more. You Damn do it. want to clean a bit more. <laughs> Damn it. Against doctor's orders. Nothing <laughs> smaller than your elbow should go in your ear. Nothing? Nothing smaller than your elbow should go in your ear. So, so nothing, nothing. nothing should go in your ear. Oh. <laughs> How was the experience? <sighs> I feel like they should include this in like those spa packages. Yes. Because I felt so shook after. You know, just now I guess that I have the most <laughs> It is my ears damn clean eh. I want to do it myself eh. I want to <laughs> take the thing eh. Yeah. And I just want to like... Look inside my Yes, it's so fun. That thing is so yeah, fun. Yeah, like, but I just want to say, if you want to do that, right, please like have some supervision or some shit. I perforated my eardrum. Because I was cleaning my ears like a normal human being and then somebody like... <laughs> oh, oh my god, hey, that's so the, messed up. And then we heard you like... You were a lot, there you were, were a lot of like screaming. You were a lot of like screaming. Ah! 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 I don't even know why I was screaming. It wasn't painful. It was just uncomfortable. strangely uncomfortable. Like what I described, right? It was a cold, noisy, skinny tongue sticking into your ear. Why must you say it's a tongue? You had a sucking motion. I, I wanted to do so it. So she just used like that. The you hook. want to clip the hook? You went in quite long, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about how it. How was it? How was it? It was horrifying eh. It's like a whole ball. Did it roll out? Oh, like, oh, like, no, no, the thing is... Oh, like, 
T-ball. I felt it Other T-ball. moving around while she was hooking it out. It just goes to show that when they say like you should not clean your own ear, it's true. Cause I probably pushed in like years worth of Will you do the test again or recommend it to people around you? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm to see old people do it. Oh, like how like, many years? Like, yeah, yeah, years yeah, yeah, yeah. Wax. Yeah. Scarlet is like green color. In terms of not the cleaning but the checkup, mm. I think everybody should go for it yeah. because you never know. You might have been festering the amount of uh, wax. Yeah. She also shared that like you have like very dry and hard mm. ear wax, right? Invest in olive oil. Maybe like swirl it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's you so do. Nice. And after you like. <laughs> Really like <laughs> thank you guys for watching this episode of Singaporeans Try. And thank you so much to Advanced ENT for having us and a big shout out to Dr. Rebecca. If you like this episode, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell down below and watch all our other videos over there. Over there! Bye! Bye! Bye. Actually, I have to grow my pinky longer so there. I can like... That is so <laughs> bad! Don't, don't <laughs> be that. Please don't!